If you've never been here before, when we do the week ahead tarot forecast, we go by your astrological signs element, whichever sign you want to go by, your sun sign, rising sign, moon sign, whatever sign feels most comfortable to you. If you are a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you are up first. Let's see how your week is going to go. All right, we have nine of wands. So now you can see a little bit better how it's foil. Temperance reversed. Heart work is to die for. Yeah, so beautiful. Temperance reversed. And strength. Whoa, okay. <laughs> don't run out of patience this week, all right? Amanda, hello. Uh, don't run out of patience, right? Okay. It's going to feel like you're going to want to give up on something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera, can you chill? Um, don't lose patience with yourself, especially. You have to keep pushing forward. You have to keep seeing it to the end of the week, uh, whatever it is that you're working on. And you're going to have to tap into your inner well of strength to get through it, okay? You have enough strength to push through and overcome whatever is challenging you. And it might take a lot, but you can see it through. Temperance Reverse is also saying you may feel like it's extra easy to go to the extreme based on whatever is happening in your life. It may be really easy to just let your emotions get heightened, so to speak, but try your best to remain calm to blend the highs and lows and to keep pushing forward and also if it's a touch touchy week for you or you feel extra sensitive that's okay your sensitivity is also part of how strong you are and it is a strength and will help get you through <laughs> okay the moon cards had a lot to say so new moon eclipse expect powerful change all right. The reason why it's feeling really hard to push through and see it through is because powerful change is on the horizon. Full moon in Cancer. It's almost Cancer season. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. I feel like that's what this powerful change is alluding to also. Because if you're waiting for something to be resolved and it ends up being resolved, then you can finally move forward, right? And then your commitment is being tested. <laughs> oh, lovely. Everyone's favorite card. Your commitment is being tested. That's why you feel this way. All right, but good things are coming out of this. I promise. Just hang in there this week. This is a week about hanging in there, I feel like. All right, and then I'm going to add an amulet. Let's see what the amulet has to say, too. Go deeper. Everyone's favorite card in this deck. Go deeper. It's not on the surface. Whatever is making you so impatient, testing your commitment, and making it very difficult for you to push through, go deeper to figure out where, where this is like. Like where, blah, 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 I swear I can talk. Where? <laughs> where this issue is okay cool i can talk i totally can talk i can all right water signs i hope you have a good week hang in there hang in there you got this okay i stopped on capricorn to go to virgo double the earth so if you are a taurus virgo or capricorn Let's have it go. Ooh, wait. Oh my gosh, it's moving. Oh my gosh, where is it going? Where is it going? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Taurus. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Earth, here we go. How is our week going to go, Ursa? Seven of Wands. Okay. Seven of Wands. And the star. All right. The star. Oh, the star is a Ouija board. That's really cool. I love it. And the Five of Swords. And the bonus card that had attached itself to the other card 
is the king of pentacles reversed. All right. So since it is, uh, was attached to the seven of wands, I feel like that's sending a very strong message that this week you might have to challenge someone who is just... <laughs> that's what I got to say about that. You might have to stand up for yourself, especially when it comes to someone who is very controlling about money, finances, resources, uh, who thinks that they know better for you, even though it's your life. And I feel like you just need to focus on advocating for yourself and what you need, Earth signs, this week. Speaking up when you need to speak up and fight against this person uh, to avoid... Ew, there's a hair in my mouth. Hold on. All right, we got it. Um, to avoid this feeling of defeat with this five of swords. When it comes down to it, you might have to advocate for yourself so much so that it causes you to win this situation over, but you're not going to feel good about it. But it's kind of like your warning to not let it get to that point by trying to ignore it. If you face it head on right away and just keep fighting for yourself and advocating for yourself, you'll be able to just focus on your own healing over here because the stars are all about healing. So mainly the theme for this week is try your best to just focus on recovery and recuperating and healing. And if there does, if a situation does come along where you're going to have to stand up for yourself, you're going to have to stand up for yourself. Okay. And it might lead to a defeat, you feeling defeated and feeling like you, you pulled out all the stops to win this particular situation over to get this person to like leave you alone. But just try to focus on your own healing and your recuperation. Okay, so what do the moon cards have to say about the situation? Because I think us earth signs, we are feeling a bit ragged at the moment. And I definitely am feeling the vibes to just like try to take things at my own pace and heal. So protect your peace in whatever way is necessary this week, especially from someone who's like trying to be very controlling about your 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 own resources like they don't know better whoa okay conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse okay so this situation a conclusion is within reach and i feel like this is absolutely why it's saying to focus on your own healing and protecting your own peace because uh you're almost there okay whatever the situation is that makes you feel drained it is within reach, so just you just got to focus on taking it slow. Okay, what does the amulet have to say to us for signs? You're in alignment. Okay. Okay, listen. Freaking mute button on this mic. Okay. The star is all about realignment and uh, getting your, like I said, your mind, body, and soul on the same page. Uh... You're in alignment, meaning you will be successful at that this week, okay? So just keep focusing focusing on that. All right, Earth Signs. Have, as I hit the mic, we're punching the mic. Have a great week, okay? We're in this one together. We can, we can get this shit done, okay? We can heal. We can recenter ourselves. We can emerge, re-emerge stronger than ever. Air Signs. Okay, so if you are a... Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It's your turn. Nailed it. Totally. Three of Swords. Ouch. The Hermit. Strength. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Why is it all Major Arcana and the Three of Swords? All right. All right, all right. I see. Um, Air Signs, please take it easy this week. All right. Protect your peace. I feel like the theme of a lot of these readings so far has been protect your peace. Okay, because I feel like there's a lot of grief that you're carrying. 
with you and you're carrying it into this upcoming week with the three of swords and you feel like you're going through a very difficult period where just everything seems to be against you with this wheel of fortune reversed uh so the best way to kind of deal with this is to recharge your inner strength and figure out how you're gonna push through is by isolating yourself a little bit and spending some time with just you. Doing whatever you do to find peace and to connect you with your own inner wisdom to move forward. That's gonna be very important for you to focus on this week. And I know air signs, you like to talk and you like to be social, but this time, it's this 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 week, it's just time to spend some time in the quiet and by yourself. And I feel like that'll help you move on. It'll help you see that not everything is out to get you here and you can keep pushing through Keep pushing through, because you can do it, okay? I'm sorry if it feels like just nothing is going right. But I think you'll be able to come out on the other side of this even stronger. Just spend some time alone. Spend some time recuperating. Spend some time getting to know you again after this grief happened. Believe in the impossible, okay? <laughs> Believe in the impossible. This will turn around, all right? Even if it feels impossible right in the current moment. It's not. It's not. You can get through this. You can push through. You can do it. You just have to reconnect with you. All right, believe in the impossible, air signs. You can do it. What, what does the amulet have to say to you as well here? Cast that spell, all right. How do you know exactly what it is you want if you're not spending t enough time figuring that out and listening to your own inner voice? Uh, you can figure out what it is you want. All right, air signs, please take care of yourselves. Please, please, please take care of yourselves. You're doing great. Fire signs, wow. Who saw this coming? CMC certainly did. Uh, if you are an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, let's see how your week's gonna go. Okay, let's Ooh, see. Oh, all right, well, Knight of Swords. Emperor. Death. Why did I move that almost off the screen? You're undergoing a huge transformation this week. Fire signs. Where a lot of the old you is falling away and a new you is being reborn, okay? You, I feel like you're on the precipice of really, truly grasping how powerful you are, especially when it relates to making decisions for your own life because the emperor is here. So you're all going to have a little bit of Aries energy this week, uh, doubly so if you are an Aries with this emperor card. And you're going to just understand that it is time to move forward to get your shit together. You have all the capability in the world of crafting the life that you want for yourself and making smart decisions for yourself. And I also feel like the Knight of Swords comes to play in here because because that's about charging forward with determination, not really caring about what's in your way on some path to grow and learn. And I feel like you are learning something new and you're learning new things about yourself and you're ready to just keep moving forward with it. And I feel like because you are undergoing this transformation where you're becoming like a new, better version of you, you are also learning a lot about yourself and you're going on this journey moving forward learning so much about yourself and you're stepping into your power as you're going along this journey. So this week is really going to be about connecting to this new you and how it relates to going after the things that you want and stepping into your own power. So fire signs. Fire signs, you're on fire. You're on fire this week, okay? 
So much Aries energy. New moon in Aries, it's time to take action. So much Aries energy, what did I say? It's time to take action. It's time to take action. It is. Step up, get this shit done. You can absolutely do it. Channel your Aries energy. Aries and otherwise. Okay, also in typical fire sign fashion, we have chill out. Chill out, all right? All right. <laughs> Fire signs, if there were any people to tell to chill, it definitely would be you. So, know that you don't have to have this figured out overnight, that it is a process to get there. And for as much as you are working on changing, growing and moving forward, you can also do this in a more relaxed way and it doesn't have to go from zero to a hundred overnight. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Please take care of yourselves, drink lots of water, stay hydrated, especially if it's going to be hot where you are, and take care of yourself, you know, and to the best of your abilities, because it looks like, for all of us, it's definitely going to be a week. It's going to be a week.